Okay, I want to do one more effect with my painting. And remember, we have our real background turned off. That's the locked background with our photo on it. And I'm going to go to the top of my stacking order, and I want to combine all my layers into one. So I'm just going to go to my Layers panel menu, and I'm going to choose Merge Visible. So that does not include my original picture because I had the visibility icon turned off. Okay, so we've compressed all of our different layers into a single layer, so we can't make any edits to it, and we're ready to play some more. I'm going to click on the filter menu, and I want you to take a look at oil paint. This is actually kind of neat. And I'm going to choose here at the bottom, I'm going to fit in view so I can see my whole painting, make sure it's visible. And here we can come in, and now we can actually make our painting look like a masterpiece. So here on the right, you can see we have a couple settings that we can modify. We've got the brush and we've got lighting, and we can modify the brush strokes that we've created earlier by clicking and dragging. You can see as we're going to the left, it gets a little bit more texture to it, and as we go to the right, it smooths it out. So we can play with those settings. I'm going to actually bring mine down, maybe to around the three number, and then cleanliness. This is going to clean things up a little bit. So as I drag it to the right, you can see things are getting smoother. As I drag it to the left, you can see more of your brush strokes. So as we drag it to the right, it starts to clean up our brush strokes and kind of minimizes them. So find a setting that you like. Again, I'm probably going to go towards the lower end. I kind of like that authentic feeling that it's actually been painted with real brushes and on a canvas. And then the scale. We can actually scale the strokes, and this is similar to some of the things we've worked on in the filter gallery before, and the bristle detail. So we're all the way at the max here. Let's go ahead and bring it down a little bit to see what happens. And you can see that the detail from the brush bristle is being reduced as I drag it down. I'm going to go ahead and leave that at around 8. Maybe we'll drag that back up a little bit. Okay, and then our lighting, here's the angles of our lights and our reflections. So we can set the direction of our light source and drag in this around. We probably want something that will look good with where our sun is located. I kind of like the numbers down here, and probably the low 200s. And then our shine, we can set for the reflections. So we can bring that up, make it a lot more intense. And then obviously, as you're playing with these, you may want to go back to your settings and readjust them. Let's go ahead and click OK. And that's our final masterpiece. It actually looks like we could have painted this on a canvas with real paint.